day to everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is lovely nadebayo if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back and if you're a new subscriber you are welcome you're welcome you're welcome and in case you're coming across my video for the very first time you are also welcome and please do not forget to subscribe so today i'm gonna be talking about the waiting room yes the waiting room i know you're wondering yeah 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 i have a lot for you so don't go anywhere I prayed and fasted for a change of story that will reveal his glory in my life because mercy was the only airtime I had left to call on Abba. I never knew I would be summoned to the waiting room, a room some are scared to enter because you need to wear the virtue of patience as a garment before you can enter. Because you can get in and watch people who came after you receive their delivery package. I mean the same breakthrough you are waiting to receive and then you become furious. Why the wait? Why wait so long? What's going on? But unfortunately, there is no secretary to shout on. Your patience is tried. Your belief is weighed. You even get mocked and hugged by shame because people are waiting to see the result of your waiting. You cried. You wailed. You prayed. But it seems there is no way. You get tired. Start burning out. Losing faith. Anxiety sets in and reality is unveiled. Right in the waiting room, you start feeling alone as the breeze of anxiety begins to roam. You start checking the time as though you were given a time. The pain, the pressure, impatience began to knock on the door of your heart telling you to take off the garment of patience and go elsewhere in search of a miracle. You are trying to give the stranger's voice a thought, but I have to tell you this. Satan has no waiting room. He is too impatient to keep you waiting. He only gives conditions necessary for the misfortune he wants to give you. He doesn't own a fortune. All he has and gives is a time bomb waiting to explode and blow you away from God and the things he has for you. I know waiting is hard. But you need to hold on to God. Even when the miracle never enters your hand, you still have to stand strong and rejoice as you keep waiting. Because in between seed time and harvest is the wait. I mean the waiting season of watering, sealing, till your seeds begin to grow, till you begin to see results. So keep waiting because you are not wasting. For those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Waiting is God's strategy of renewing our strength. I know you have dashed expectations, countless disappointments, but it won't be forever. So keep on holding on. Like a waiter who is patiently waiting to take orders. For the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. So wait until God shows up. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you were blessed and inspired by those words. And in case you are in the waiting room, you are waiting on God for one thing or the other, it's my prayer today that your request, your prayers will be answered in the name of Jesus. You will return with your testimonies in the name of Jesus. So please keep holding on to God's word. Do not give up. Do not doubt. Do not give the enemy a chance in your mind. Keep praying. Keep speaking the word. Keep believing. And in no time, God will definitely show up for you. Thank you very much once again. My name is Lovelyn and please do not forget to subscribe. See you all in my subsequent videos. Bye.